These guys are ready to go to the vet. Smile for the camera, guys. You're going to the vet. You're gonna go see the doctor today. All right. You got your toenails clipped. You're all cleaned That's up. That's what's happening here. So welcome to my Westies TV. And back from the vet, everyone got a clean bill of health, so we're going to put them in the pond and we're going to let them play, get some exercise, and enjoy one of those company and socialize. So let's watch them as they run around. Well, we'd like to thank all the folks who are taking one of these beautiful puppies home. And for those of you not taking one of these guys home, we want to thank you so much for watching. We truly do appreciate all who stop by and watch these guys play each and every week. Yesterday, these guys had their microchip installed and had their first set of shots. If you're curious about how the microchips are installed and how the puppies get their shots, I'll put a link up in the right hand corner so that you can view the video which shows how that is done. So remember, I bring your puppy's collar so you can put his tags on right away. And also remember that on your way home and until the puppy has his first three sets of shots, that you want to keep him away from public areas where other dogs may be wandering around because we don't know what they're carrying and we don't want your puppy to get sick. Remember to make sure you bring your puppy's crate so he has a safe place to ride when he's in the car. Have it nice and safely strapped in. We don't want the puppy roaming around free because that's not safe. Not safe for you and not safe for him and we want everyone to arrive home safely. And when you arrive home, make sure not to give your puppy the free run of the home or right away. Because they'll want to mark their territory, they'll want to put their scent, their mark, on their new home. And so if you can find them with a baby gate to a room until they've been properly trained to go on a mat or outside, you'll save yourself a lot of extra work cleaning up after your puppy. And I got the heads up on Tuesday from the couple that picked up Dark Blue Boy on Tuesday that baby gates are on sale and babies are us. They're going out of business. So if you want to get that gate to keep your puppy from roaming around your home, now's the time. Just a little inside tip. And if your puppy happens to have an accident on the floor, it's best to clean it up with a cleaner that doesn't have harsh chemicals. Usually a vinegar and water solution is the best, so that if the puppy happens to lick any of it up, it won't do him any harm. If it's on carpet, you'll want to use an enzyme-based cleaner. You can find that at your pet store. That will neutralize the odor and the puppy won't be inclined to go back to that spot to mark it again because it's familiar to them. One thing to remember is that you never want to use the crate to punish the puppy for going to the bathroom on the floor. Reinforce the good behavior 
and keep showing him where you would like him to go, where you would like your puppy to go to the bathroom, and then he will catch on. As if you use the crate, it'll defeat the purpose of using the crate as a safe haven uh, when he's scared or just wants to relax, or a place where you want him to sleep at night, or be in uh, during the day while you're not home. Give your puppy plenty of love and attention, and you'll both they'll be extremely happy. That's all for me. I kind of have a cold, so I'm going to sign off, let this video run play out. Thank you so much for watching. Don't please subscribe if you haven't. If you have, thank you very much. Everyone have a great weekend.
puppies that were born this weekend. And here we have Venora's litter. They were born on Saturday. It was a busy weekend, had a couple litters born. Everyone's doing well. She had five puppies. Three girls, two boys. Three girls. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Three boys and two girls. Yeah, opposite. And watch as we away in of the new puppies that were born this weekend. And here they are, Nadine's litter. Two boys, one girl. Or no, no. two girls and one boy. Two okay. girls and one boy. They're doing really well. We're watching the one um, girl because she 